Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We have a pretty interesting one today. A 2017 Chevy Impala with only 57,000 miles. A uh, pretty clean looking car. It has the Ecotec 2.5 liter uh, four cylinder direct injected engine. And customer complaint is, he's like, it's just not running right. Sometimes it loses power, almost wants to stall out at idle. Um, he said the problem just out of the blue started happening. Uh, he drove it here, so it, it does drive uh, okay, but it's, something's definitely not right. So last night I pulled the trouble codes out of it, <clears throat> and we have a P0101 mass airflow sensor performance, okay. Uh, 131 heated oxygen sensor, uh, circuit low voltage sensor 1, and also low voltage sensor 2. Uh, the classic 171 fuel trim system lean. P0300, engine misfire detected, and P2097, post catalyst fuel trim system high limit. Okay, so quite a few codes, but let's uh, start the car from cold and look at some scan data and see if the problem is occurring uh, right now. So last night I actually took the car for a test drive, clear the codes out, it was acting up all the time, I just wanted to see what would set first. Here are the current codes right now after one test drive P0171 fuel system lean and the 2097 post catalyst fuel trim system high limit <clears throat> so in live data let's read data stream let's look at these oxygen sensors and in here we also have uh, fuel trims so we'll do engine speed uh, calculated airflow that's a very useful data pit we'll see in a second Engine coolant temp, oxygen sensor 1, oxygen sensor 2, long term uh, map sensor, short term trim, mass airflow sensor, that's the actual reading from the mass airflow sensor. <clears throat> Anything else we want to look at? Let's do throttle position. Okay, so let's graph these. <clears throat> you can see long-term fuel trim is already at 40%. That's crazy. Short term is at zero. Um, the MAP sensor is at 13.8 PSI. That's normal. Mass airflow sensor is at zero. Okay, let's fire it up. Engine is at 73 degrees. So... <clears throat> let's see how fast it goes into closed loop okay look at that short term climbing 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 and our oxygen sensor one is pegged lean so right now we're maxed out on the long term and the short term trim 35 and 30 percent our mass airflow sensor is reading 3.5 grams per second. Our calculated airflow is 5 grams per second. That right there is a huge discrepancy. And that's our problem. The mass airflow sensor is underreporting by quite a bit, by like 2 grams per second. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And the car is kind of stumbling, and the RPMs are going up and down. Not happy at all. Uh, what you want to do to check these oxygen sensors for activity, just stab the throttle. See if you can force that oxygen sensor rich. There you go, it's at 0 0.79. 0 0.8, 0.9. So the oxygen sensor is alive. That's happy. Oxygen sensor 2 also went up to 0.8. Now they're both pegged lean. Indeed, the car is telling us the truth. So this is the problem right here. Calculated airflow is 4.5. Actual airflow measured by the sensor is 2.5. Now let's put the car under a little bit of load. And <clears throat> so in this case, what do, you, what do you suspect? Either A, a vacuum leak, and that will show up at idle the most. Under load, there's less vacuum in the intake manifold and um, you know the fuel trim should stabilize 
do they? So, let's give it a little gas. So it's gonna hold this throttle steady. So 19 calculated, 14 actual, and our trims do not improve. We're still at 33 long term, like 20 short term. It is in control now. You see the oxygen sensor is kind of oscillating. But still, massive under-reporting by five grams per second. So, by like at least 25%. Just from the driver's seat, we just determined we're going straight for this mass airflow sensor. I'm gonna take off the, the you know air intake tube, the air cleaner, see if there's something in the way of the sensor, something weird. The sensor's under-reporting all the time. It's not a vacuum leak, um, so we're, we have a great direction just by starting the car, looking at some scan data, and using some logic. So let's go under the hood and see if we can, um, you know, with that, find the mass airflow sensor and see what it looks like. By the way, uh, people might want to know, where does this calculated airflow data pit come from? Well, that comes from the MAP sensor and the throttle position, the TPS sensor. So the computer has an algorithm saying if your throttle is open this much and you have this much intake vacuum, you should be using this much air. Then it compares it to the real mass airflow sensor reading. If they're way off, it'll set the 101 code, uh, but it's still trying to use the sensor to meter the fuel. And it's running super lean. It has to jack up the fuel trims and it's still stumbling so we're not even you know 40 and 30 percent right there that's not enough to even get this to stoichiometric our oxygen sensors are still pegged low all right here is our mass airflow sensor so one thing you can do the car is acting up all the time is just unplug it and let it run on the default strategy if it runs you know beautiful fuel trims are good then that's another clue to go after this mass airflow sensor. So super easy to do. Let's just unplug it, see how the car runs. It, obviously it'll set a trouble code for that. <clears throat> okay, let's graph that. Here, the cooling fans kicked on high it's probably a default safe strategy so look now our oxygen sensor is at 0.9 mass airflow showing zero because we unplugged it okay now we're in closed loop very nice oscillation right there beautiful long-term trim is at 35 short term is right around zero so does that prove anything it definitely runs better with the mass airflow unplugged. I don't like that this is still at 33, but I do like that we're in fuel control now. The car's running very smoothly. We put it under a little bit of load. See what happens to our fuel trims. So minus 25. Minus 10. That's starting to learn. Right there, we're starting to oscillate again. See the long-term trim is decaying. So this car should be pretty happy. Uh, it, it's running fine with the mass airflow sensor unplugged. Yeah, I idle I still don't like the 30% long term fuel trim. But this is the default strategy, so you don't expect perfect fuel trims without the mass airflow sensor in the picture at all. Okay, so we'll take a screenshot of that. Always save your data. And 
I don't know why. <laughs> the uh, fans just keep running when we unplug this mass airflow sensor. They're running full blast, keys out, probably some stupid default strategy. So let's uh, take out the air cleaner, mass airflow sensor, and see if there's any, anything interesting in there. It's like five minutes later, the fans are still full blast. This is ridiculous. I don't know what kind of strategy this is. Let's, uh... Read the fault codes here. So intake air temperature sensor 2 circuit low. Intake air humidity sensor circuit low. Intake air temperature sensor circuit high voltage. Mass airflow sensor circuit low frequency. Engine misfire detected. Barrel pressure low voltage. So if we clear DTCs, will the fans turn off? Yes, <laughs> they did. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Okay, so I got the cap off. The sensor, mass airflow sensor is built, you know, built into this air pipe. Okay, don't see anything too interesting yet. Let's see the air cleaner. This is brand new. Fram. Okay, so that's not definitely not original. So I wonder when this was replaced. It looks eh, fairly fresh. There's some debris in here. I mean, my first suspicion would be something got sucked in here and like a little piece of crap got stuck in the mass air airflow sensor and it's under reporting all the time by like whatever 30 percent not just at idle so not a vacuum leak we're suspecting something's wrong with this mass airflow sensor let's pop it out of the tube i don't know blow it out with some compressed air see if anything comes out so just two screws there and Come right out. Wow. Okay, check this out. I see a little dandelion fuzz thing right on that hot element. Do you see that? I'm going to take a picture for the customer. That is so cool <laughs> that we could diagnose it right from the driver's seat. It couldn't be anything else. I'm just going to blow it out and this thing should run perfect. Alright, so we want to blow this thing out in the reverse direction of airflow. So if it sits in the pipe like this, air is coming in here, goes around and then comes out of these holes. So let's just blow it out going backwards. Boom, did you see that fly out? <laughs> there it is. That little thing right there. I'm gonna show that to the customer. <laughs> so cool. Alright, let's clear out these trouble codes. And uh, make sure that this thing runs perfectly. <clears throat> no DTCs, I like it. Data stream. Let me select those PIDs. Okay, so keep in mind, the long-term trim is still at 33. I wonder if there is a function to clear reset functions. Fuel trim reset, let's try that. Reset. Communicating, reset, okay. I don't know, what do you do? Key off. <clears throat> Key on. Oh. See if that works. Well, I don't know, let's just start it up.
still running a little rough because right now mass airflow is showing six on the sensor calculated as five. Interesting. All right, short term trim is gonna fall off a cliff now. And our long term is learning slowly. The oxygen sensor is starting to oscillate. I wonder if you can do this special function <clears throat> Let's see. while the car is running. Reset, fuel trim reset. You can unhook the battery, I guess. Reset. I don't know if that does anything at all. <laughs> Fuel pump trim reset. I mean, it's happy now. <clears throat> we'll take it on a test drive, make sure everything's perfect. All right, let's do a zero to whatever. This car pulls pretty nice. Four cylinder Impala. Runs perfect. Fuel turn is 25% on the long term and 0% on the short term. Yeah, I don't know. I'm still kind of concerned about that long-term trim hanging out at 15%. That's interesting. I think a battery disconnect might do this car a good favor. Well, it seems to be pretty happy now. Yeah, about 10%. It's fine. Make sure there are no other trouble codes stored. No DTCs, so. So that's it. A little piece of dandelion fuzz stuck in the mass airflow sensor. You don't see that every day, but <laughs> I don't know how it got there. Uh, maybe that Fram air cleaner was, when it was put in, the fuzz got, you know, past the cleaner and then got sucked into that, uh, into the sensor. But car runs fine, so customer will be very happy. No parts required. Just remove the fuzz, and you're good to go. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.